In today's demo, we are going to see this ingredient scanner, which basically can scan images like this and highlight whether refined palm oil, refined wheat flour or maida sugar is present. And it is also going to say whether this is uh, suitable for kids or not. So it is going to say whether it's suitable or not. Similarly, if we upload images which does not contain maida or refined wheat and palm oil, it is going to say it is not containing these things and it is also going to say whether it is recommendable or not. Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Lunges with Mahesh. Today I am super excited to share an interesting application which can scan ingredients list from a given image and highlight whether it is good to be consumed by especially by kids so the entire functionality is powered by gemini pro vision so let's get started all right we are in our web interface where we are going to upload few images which which is nothing but the ingredients list of few food items and find out whether it contains some of the items which I have highlighted in the intro piece of it. So before we get into the actual demonstration, so I would like to thank Raymond and Chris Nike from basically the YouTube world and from the uh, Instagram world is what I would say. So if you don't know who is Raven, so I will quickly show his uh, LinkedIn page or profile where he is from the food parma uh, stuff where he tries to promote what should be consumed as a what is a good food what is not a good food so you have to look at the ingredients not only at the uh, expiry date of the stuff so he gives a good amount of knowledge is what i would say so based on his uh, instagram videos only i thought okay why don't i create this so when i was thinking of that I basically was looking into few videos. So Chris Nike is where I saw. So who is primarily from machine learning background, artificial intelligence. So who creates a good amount of long videos where interesting concepts are shared in a very crisp way. So I saw one of his videos where it was trying to use something very similar health app. So I thought, why don't I modify that? So this was literally taken from his uh, GitHub page where I modified it to my stuff. So I would like to thank one more time Raven and Chris for this. So now the demo time. So let me just upload. So I have few images. So let me upload the first one, which is a biscuit ingredients list. So we are going to click on ingredients scanner. So it's going to show it is running. And once it gives a response, you should be able to see whether it contains wheat, uh, refined wheat flour, sugar, maida. That's what it is going to primarily. So that's how I have tuned the prompt. So it says, yes, it contains all the three uh, ingredients and it is also going to give a complete details about the stuff. So since the URL is going to be shared in the comment section, you can go ahead and try it yourself. And this is a live demonstration. So here, children in the age of 1 to 12 should consume healthy diet is what it says. So it is indirectly saying not to consume this. Very simple. So now let's go with one more stuff where I'm going to upload a noodles image, a ingredients list of a noodles. And we are going to click on ingredients scanner. And it's running. So this is completely built using a uh, stream light is what I would say. Now it says uh, refined wheat flour is there. Beautiful. Palm oil is there. Sugar is not there. So that is how I have trained the system or put the prompt. So look for these three ingredients. And as per Raven, right? So and also based on the norms, uh, any items which is listed in the top three is going to be having more. So more the quantity that uh, ingredient is going to be mentioned in the beginning is what they indicate. So if we can at least look for these three items and try to avoid it, it's going to become a healthy food to at least to some extent healthy food is what I would say. So. It shows the stuff and it shows children in this range should not consume this product as it is high in calories. Beautiful. So let's go ahead and try to look into some more. So I have one more noodles image. So wheat flour, 
uh, maida, wheat flour, refined wheat flour, refined palm oil is high is what it shows here also. And let's see what it is going to highlight it. And if you don't get the right response, if you feel it is not, give a try, right? So now it is able to identify refined uh, palm oil but uh, wheat also it should have been uh, refined wheat flour also it should have basically captured it uh, it is already saying it is not good for kids so let me do one more time a scan of this so because it did not capture it properly so still the same so maybe let me use something else so i'm going to use so far we have seen all the things which is not good right so let's look into it one more but there is a sugar here in this my uh, in this case almond which is good if i'm not wrong so cocoa dark chocolate to my ex to my knowledge it is good is my understanding so i may be wrong also sugar is there uh flex each is really really in, uh, good is my understanding but it's only two two percent almond is the major portion of it the date is to some extent a good portion so let's try to scan this and find out what is the uh, response Gemini Pro Vision is going to give? So it should say sugar is there. That is my understanding. So it says that contains the following stuffs. It was literally a optical character recognition piece of it. And the beauty here is what I like here. It is trying to show palm oil is not there. Any form of palm oil is not there. Any form of uh, refined wheat flour is not there. So, okay, it went off. Let me just scan it one time. So this is something which I have observed as a small uh, bug. So it goes off. So I'm going to look into the stuff and try to fix it. So, okay. This time it showed it does not contain it. So something went wrong. Let me just do a scan. So this part I am also working on it. Once I find a fix, I'll try to show you the stuff. So there's nothing hiding. So it's not a completely a uh, production ready app. So something which I'm trying to work on it. So yes, the third time the this thing is good. And let's see whether this is okay. This product is high in protein and fiber, low in sugar. So it's a good source of this thing. It's suitable for 1 to 12 year kids. So, but they again say it should not be uh, something consumed heavily, right? So natural stuffs needs to be consumed heavily. So these were something straightforward is what I would say, where uh, we uploaded an image which had the ingredients list. Now the power of Gemini Pro is what I wanted to show. Let me just basically click on a pizza so where uh, it does not have any ingredients list but still how do we basically scan it so this is where power of gemini pro is going to come into picture so it's going to find out its pizza and it's going to say to create or prepare pizza what are the possible ingredients it's going to use and it's going to recommend whether kids from 1 to 12 years can consume this or not so beautiful so it says the this okay is con the image contains pizza so based on its corpus or the knowledge it has been gained while training it says it contains possibly wheat flour palm oil sugar all this kind of a stuff so should not be consumed is what uh, they are saying so as i mentioned the url is going to be shared this is the url this is running on cloud run so you can also try it yourself so let me try one more time another image which is a brownie so it should be definitely rich in sugar if i'm not wrong so if i try to do this it's going to show me what is the ingredients so based on the image it's going to find out okay these are the stuffs and the good part is it does not contain palm oil and uh, maida and all. So sugar should be there. So is not suitable is what it is saying. So because it contains high amount of sugar. So always use a good alternative. So this is the stuff which I wanted to share which was primarily a ingredient scanner. So there are good amount of improvements which we can do this. So currently if you open this URL which I am going to share it in the chat or in the description. It is going to open up, it's basically mobile friendly also, but you cannot use your camera. So you have to upload from your phone or if you are using a browser, you have to upload it from your local system. So some of the enhancements which I'm planning to do it is if you can scan, like take a photo on the fly and do it, that's going to be something good is what I would say. Uh, that's one of the 
improvements area and this is completely running on a uh, cloud run so i have tried to use a different approach to generate the keys all those kind of a stuff so if you are interested please do let me know in the comment section so i'm planning to create a, a complete end-to-end -end, uh, a little robust application but the base is going to be this which is going to have some robustness from the architecture perspective so that way we are also learning gen ai and we also know how to deploy it in a production system so more of ml ops is what i would say with a good amount of cloud architect skills so that's all the video which i wanted to share so do let me know your th comments and thoughts in the comment section thank you for watching